Boys and girls, welcome to the 22nd annual IPEI Adult Spelling Bee. Apparently, I have this little bee with me today. This is, this is mine, this is Asha. Um, there's some other ones around. So thank you all for being here. Thank you, whether you are a spectator, a speller, a sponsor. Uh, this is our biggest event of the year. Every dollar that our teams have raised to be here, every dollar that our sponsors have generously donated to make this event possible, and every dollar that you bid at the silent auction help us raise money to make grants available to teachers in the Ithaca City School District. So far this year, we have given out over $25,000 in grants to programs and projects across the district. Uh, if, you, if you want to feel like that's a lot of dollars, which it is, if you take a look in the packet, uh, you'll see the list of things that we have made possible. All of those are projects or programs that your support makes happen in our district. So thank you for being here, and thank you for supporting all that we do. I wanna give my first shout out, there'll be a couple, to Cayuga Medical Center uh, for being our premier sponsor along with Warren Real Estate. These premier sponsors make this event possible, so thank you, uh, and we'll talk about you more as we go through the event. Uh, I, wanna, I wanna recognize all of our teams who are crowdfunding. Crowdfunding is still open. If you are seeing your team and they have a crowdfunding page set up, then you can make a gift to them. And I'm going to also now hand it off to Greg Keeler, our Master of Ceremonies, our B host for the day, uh, with us today from WSKG Public Media, one of our media sponsors and partners for this event. Greg, thank you so much for being here. Thank you, Steve. Thank you, everyone. Let's introduce our players, shall we? We're gonna start with our pronouncer. You can't have a spelling bee without a pronouncer. So our pronouncer is, as it has been for several years, Jeff Dunn, past speller. Past speller and bee broadcaster back for a fifth year of pronouncing, participating in his, drum roll please, 20th B. Our timekeeper is Sunshine Miller. Say hi. Sunshine is the coordinator of cooperative enrichment at TST BOCES, member of IPEI's grants committee, with a cast of honorary beekeepers, including Brian Warren, president of Warren Real Estate. Our judges today represent our community and the support we have for education and our teachers. Let's start with Ken Harrison from Cayuga Medical Center, former Spelling Bee Speller, premier event sponsor, Ken Harrison. Next we have the executive director of Kids Discover the Trail, an IPEI collaboration, Beth Palace. From Keller Williams Realty and IPEI Spelling Bee coordinating member, Bintu Siddiqui. Is Bintu with us? No, Bintu. She's on her way. Save your applause for when she arrives. We have the access coordinator of Pegasus TV, Lauren Stefanelli. There's Lauren. Thank you, Lauren an ICSD Board of Education member, Eldred Harris. Where is Eldred? Somebody has spotted Eldred. There he is. Yay, Eldred. And representing INHS Ithaca Neighborhood Housing Services, Kayla Wingert. There's Kayla. Thank you, Kayla. And how could we forget our bee fairies? We want to introduce bee fairies Anya Ross and Lillian Fortenberry. Bee fairies, say hi, bee fairies, hi. 
We do want to recognize Ralph Jones and Jane, his lovely queen bee, even though they're not able to join us today, as our honorary king bee, Ralph's spirit continues to support IPEI, and his ideas do live on in our 22nd annual bee. Thank you to Ralph and Jane for all you've done to support IPEI. The Bee is IPEI's signature fundraising event, thanks to the support of our Bee's premier event sponsors, Cayuga Medical Center, Warren Real Estate, and McCormick's Restaurant at Moakley House. All proceeds of today's event go directly toward funding IPEI grants for Ithaca City School District teachers. Let's hear it for our premier event sponsors. Our event sponsors also support today's event and our work thanks to the Tompkins Trust Company and Cornell University's Office of Community Relations. We appreciate your support. <laughs> Worthy of applause indeed. And now I get to recognize my employer. We want to recognize Kiyuga uh, Radio Group, WSKG Public Media, and Vizella Media for continued support. Yay. The auction has opened. Bidding in our silent auction will continue until the beginning of round four. The silent auction is located in the small gym off the lobby where the food is. There is a nearby activity area for children accompanied by a parent or caregiver. Silent auction results will be posted between round four and the championship round. Items in the auction range from nights at Argos Inn and a local B&B to signed memorabilia. And remember, bidding stops at the first word of round four. Now Steve is going to say something else. Before we get it, begin, we do need to stop and make a special thank you. Jeff Dunn, our words pronouncer, among many other things, will be finishing his time with us in this role at the end of today's bee. Jeff, I want to share my gratitude and thanks for all, my, for all you've done for me, for the spelling bee, for IPEI. And I also thought that we could invite a few individuals to say thank you to Jeff if technology allows. Greetings from Florida. Just wanted to add my thanks to you for all that you've done for the IPEI Spelling Bee and for your friendship you, over the years. Partnering with IPEI to promote countless bees. First, we did daily spelling practice on air with the other WHC talk radio hosts. Then you offered to live broadcast several bees from the Ithaca High Gym. Finally, you were elevated to be the, both the pronouncer and selector of words. You have incredible diction and you're trustworthy. Now, we've had for many years Queen Bees, but we'll call you the word king. Now go and be. Hi, Jeff. That's wrong here. As a former board member, board president, and spelling bee judge, I have one question for you as you plan for your retirement from being the voice of the spelling bee. Jeff, please spell the word done. What's that, Jeff? You'd like a definition, please? Of course. Done. Verb, past participle of do, or adjective, no longer happening or existing. Oh, you'd like me to use that in a sentence? Sure, I've got a sentence. Jeff, the Ithaca Public Education Initiative is really sad that Jeff Dunn has decided to be done with the adult spelling bee. We will miss you. Now, Jeff, which way are you going to spell the word done? No 
matter which way, Jeff, we have been so grateful for your involvement, for your support, for your amazingly glorious voice over so many years, and your support of IPEI has just been terrific. Thank you so much, Jeff. Now I am done. Jeff, on the behalf of our former and present uh, board of directors, our volunteers, and our staff, my and myself, thank you for all that you've done for this bee. We will miss you, and you are always welcome here. And now would all the spellers for the first round please take your places, find your name card, and assume the position behind your spelling table. And now over to Jeff Dunn, our pronouncer, for the official B rules. All right, thank you very much, Greg, and uh, thanks everyone for your kind words. I do appreciate it, and uh, the B has certainly been a, a part of my life for the uh, better part of the last 20 years, and it's been a, a nothing but a joy to, to be with you. All right, Spellers, you have each received the rules in advance, as well as a copy that has been placed at each of the team's tables. And for the audience, I want to share a, a few of the key rules of today's competition. And all the rules are written out in today's program in the middle of the booklet. Uh, all teams should have a designated Speller who will write the response on the whiteboard. I will pronounce the word, give the definition of the word, use it in a sentence, give the language of origin if there is one, or if there's one known, and pronounce the word one, once more. Each team will then have 30 seconds to spell the word by writing it on the whiteboard. The 30 seconds will begin when I have said the word for the second and last time. Now, the timekeeper will give you a warning when 10 seconds remain. If a team completes uh, the word before the 30 seconds is completed, the designated speller will raise his or her hand. When time is called, all judges must hold up their whiteboard with the word displayed toward the judges. Any team utilizing a freebie, can somebody hand that, hold that up? What's a freebie look like? Okay, now that's your wand. Where's the freebie? There it is. Steve's got it. Any team utilizing a free bee awarded by the IPEI staff must hold the free bee up in the place of the whiteboard, and a free bee may only be used once during the round. Penmanship counts if the word is illegible or if letters are ambiguous, the word will be treated as misspelled. If you have spelled the word incorrectly, you're asked to drape one of the flags marked with an X over the front of your table and prepare for the next word. Upon missing the spelling of three words, the team is eliminated from the round. Teams are asked to please remain standing at their table until the round is over. Words will be pronounced according to the Merriam-Webster Dictionary Pronunciation Guide and me. Any disputes will be resolved by the judges. There will be no appeals. And with that, we go back to Greg. Thank you, Jeff. All right. Judges, you have another extra duty. At the top of each round, please write down your favorite costumed team. We do have a costume contest going on. So, choose the best costume and write that down, and we'll announce that later. <laughs> All right, let's introduce our spellers. Starting over there, I believe, is where Be Quiet is. We have Be Quiet, sponsored by Tompkins County Public Library. Susanna Durbel, Elizabeth Hujar, and Rich Rekia. Next, we have the Spellatex from Tetra Tech. Christopher Glaubitz, Stan LaPietra, and Matthew Riley. <laughs> Team CFCU, sponsored by, oddly enough, 
CFCU, Josh Hunt, Sheldon Kinnar, and Douglas Schmidt. <laughs> FLX Girls Pint Out Spellers, Rachel Cassano, Melissa Crumrine, and Danielle Eisenman. Sponsored by Girls Pint Out, Liquid State Brewing Company, friends and family. The Bewildered Bankers from Tompkins Trust Company, Debbie Hoover, Courtney Reinhardt, and Carrie Schiebner. And the first Congo Bees, sponsored by that famous person, Anonymous. John Mazzello, Anna Sonis, and Ian Woods. And I don't know what to say till I turn my page. I say over to you, Jeff, for spelling. All right, round number one. Spellers, are we ready? Okay, first word of the afternoon is glamorous. Also glamorous, full of glamour, excitingly attractive. A private investigator's job isn't as glamorous as people think. From the Scottish, 18th century, glamorous. Hold up if you're, if you're done. Signal, okay. All right, show them. Glamorous is spelled G-L-A-M-O-R-O-U-S. <laughs> Next word, envious. Feeling or showing envy. The Smiths were envious of their neighbor's new car. From French, envious. Ten seconds. Time. All right, envious is E N V I O U S. Envious. Yeah. Please, please indicate when you are done and ready to show your word. Okay. We have somebody raising their hand. One of the designated speller, okay? All right, judges, next page, which is listed as page one on the bottom. A fairly new word to the dictionary. Gamification. The process of adding games or game-like elements to something, such as a task, so as to encourage participation. Teachers can use gamification to motivate their students. Gamification. Gamification, show your words. G-A-M-I-F-I-C-A-T-I-O-N, gamification. Oh, do we have one strike down there? Okay. Next word, sub you I'm sorry, subcutaneous, subcutaneous, situated or applied under the skin. Good news, subcutaneous fat, particularly around your gluteal area, is protective. From Latin, subcutaneous.
subcutaneous. Raise your hands when you're ready. Time. Subcutaneous is S U B C U T A N E O U S. Subcutaneous. No, it's only two strikes, Greg. Two strikes, two strikes. Yep, they got one more. <clears throat> All right, next word is kookaburra. Very large Australasian kingfish that feeds on terrestrial prey, such as reptiles and birds. Well, down under, I was sure to keep my eyes peeled for a kookaburra, if only to get to tell my friends the name. From late 19th century, we're a hurdy language, kookaburra. Ten seconds. Okay. Time. Kookaburra. K O O K A B U R R A. Kookaburra. We've got a few X's going here. We've got a few X's. Oh, we've got three X's for Team CFCU. Thank you for playing. You can hang out. All right, the next word is irretrievable. Unable to be recovered or put right. The notebook that fell into a deep crevice while Tom was on his school trip is irretrievable. Latin. Irretrievable. Let's see your hands when you're ready. Ten seconds. Time. You ready, spell it? Irretrievable is I R R E T R I E V A B L E. Irretrievable. I'm seeing all greens here, all greens. Good job. Next word Titian of a brownish orange color, a redhead. Samantha hates being called a redhead, preferring to be called a Titian. Early 19th century origin, Titian. Ten seconds. We have hands here. Are we done? Time. Okay. Titian. T I T I A N. Hmm. We've got, got a couple some of different X's spellings here. there. Got a couple of reds. Throw an X if you got a if you got a red flag. Next word is diaphanous. <laughs> especially a fabric, light, delicate, and translucent. The store sold a diaphanous dress of pale gold. Early 17th century from medieval Latin, diaphanous. We've got one hand. Two hands. 
Ten seconds. Ready. Three. All right, diaphanous. D I A P H A N O U S. Diaphanous. Okay, if you got that wrong, throw an X. Oh, the spellatics are out. The girls pint out are out. All right, we're down to three teams. Perspicacious. Of acute mental vision or discernment or keen. Of course, any perspicacious viewer of Rocky and Bullwinkle knew that the squirrel was the brains of the outfit. 17th century from Latin, perspicacious. One hand here, hands down there. A couple still thinking. Perspicacious. P-E-R-S-P-I-C-A-C-I-O-U-S. All right. So the bewildered bankers get an X, yes? Oh, oh they were right. No. Never mind. Well, all three of them got it. Next word is opi, an ancient, an ancient Greek flask. Don't drink any of the wine from this opi, commanded the master of the house, as his servant stared longingly at the dark, smooth liquor it contained. From Greek, opi. There's a hand. Opi. There's a hand down there. And Ten seconds. OP, show them, is O L P E. OP. So we got an X here, and did we get an X down there? We did. Three teams still playing. Okay, next page, judges, page three, top of the list. Boyg. A formless or pervasive obstacle, problem, or enemy, or a troll-like creature. The battle of the dark against the light is the case of the light fighting against a powerful boig. From Norwegian, boig. Boig. Ten seconds. Boig. Boig is Time. spelled B O Y G. Boig. Be quiet has been eliminated. And so has, yeah. First Congo bees. No? No, you're the last, you're the last remaining standing. You're, you're winning. Yay, <laughs> first Congo Bees. Now, we need to do a costume prize. Did he spell the word? No, not in this round. Oh, no. oh that's in the championship, championship round. Championship round. All right. And before we go, our costume winner, the early favorite, I, I did that, Jeff, I did it. I'm sorry, Steve. Bewildered Bankers! Our costume winners from each round uh, will be receiving uh, gift cards to Jimmy John's, so thanks to Jimmy John's for these donations. Now make sure to check out that silent auction going on in the small gym. 
Make sure to get your 50-50 raffle tickets available here in the gym and also in the lobby. Each speller on teams winning each round will receive honey provided by Gill's Honeybees. And Steve, you have another announcement to make. All right, we're going to take a maybe eight to ten minute break. We'll announce when it's time to come back, visit the silent auction, get some food, put your bids in, and we'll see you back for round two. Teams for round two, we'll see you here in about five minutes. To the team who has raised through crowdfunding the most dollars above their entry fee and raising with the help of their friends and family over $600, I'd like to present the free B to Howard Hanna's Highway to Spell. The free B may be used as a word pass, and if the team finds a word that is too complex for them, they may hold the B up in the air, and that is a pass for that word and that word only. Okie before we start our second round, we'd like to welcome Gina Amici to say a few words about IPEI's support for ICSD teachers. Gina, are you in the building? She is. I'll hold the mic for you. <laughs> Um, so I'm an art teacher here at the high school and I'm really grateful for all the fundraising that you guys do because you have supported my students over the years in many aspects um, from Copic markers for my fashion class to memory cards and cameras for students to be able to take home with them so that they can really have the experience of what it's like to be a photographer um, and so I just wanted to come out here and thank you all for all this work that you do. Thank you, and now it's time to meet our second round teams. I'll remind the judges you need to pick your favorite for the best costume in this round and write that down on a piece of paper I can gather so I don't have to keep the count in my head. I will come by and pick those up. And we're going to start with a new addition to round two. We have a group that we didn't have, so now we have, on page nine, the IHSBTA with Allison M. Char, uh, cha -er cha Is that right? Is that close? cha -er cha -er cha -er Okay, thank you, Allison. Artie Jewett and Justin Carr, IHSBTA. We have the Queen Bees, sponsored by our premier sponsor, Warren Real Estate. And the Queen Bees are Kristen Robertson, Jennifer Arbach, and Therese Mullen, the Queen Bees. We have some bunch of people. Oh, I recognize you guys. This is We Spell Crazy Good sponsored by my beloved employer of 34 years, WSKG Public Media. We have Sam Goodyear, Liz Kearney, do you say? You do. And Louise Ulrich, we spell crazy good. We have O Behave, sponsored by Cayuga Radio Group. So we are missing one of our people. So we have Dave Ashton, John Summers, and me, and you, and a dog named B. Oh, behave. 
Cornell Dining Super Spellers, sponsored by McCormick's Restaurant at Moakley House, and our spellers are Caitlin, I'm sorry, is it Weedman or Weidman? Caitlin Weidman, Alyssa Burwald, and Brandon Fortenberry, Cornell Dining Super Spellers. We have the Howard Hannah's Highway to Spell, featuring Joshua Adams, Beth Brennan, and Helen Ann Uris. Howard Hannah's Highway to Spell. <laughs> Last but certainly not least, Don't Stop Be Leaving with Kelly Saube, Alina Fast, and Auburn Seidel, sponsored by friends and family. Don't Stop Be Leaving. All righty, Jeff, it's all yours. There should also be a prize for the best name, I mean, in addition to the costumes, but maybe next year. All right, spellers, round number two, first word is controversy. A discussion marked especially by the expression of opposing views, a dispute. The decision aroused a controversy among the students. It's from Latin, controversy. Raise your hands as you are done. Still waiting on some folks here. We are close. Let's see. Hand, 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 hand. Hand, hand. Okay, turn them around. All right. Controversy is C O N T R O B E R S Y. Controversy. Congratulations, everyone. Next word is precocious. Exceptionally early in development or occurrence or exhibiting mature qualities at an unusually early age. The precocious little girl thinks she knows everything there is to know about life. From Latin, precocious. I see two, three, four hands, five hands, six hands, one group still thinking, thinking, thinking. And they are ready, so turn them around. Precocious is P-R-E-C-O-C-I-O-U-S. Precocious. Well done. All right, judges, next page. Another word that is relatively new to the dictionary. Crunk. A style of southern rap music featuring repetitive chants and rapid dance rhythms. Little John is notoriously known as King of Crunk among music lovers. Origin unknown, Crunk. One hand, two hands, three hands, are you a hand, four hands? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, turn them around. Crunk is C R U N K. Crunk. Ah, uh, there's an X if you had a K. We spell crazy good. Please write bigger. Thank you. Next word is fuddy duddy. Person who is old fashioned and fussy. He probably thinks I'm just an old fuddy-duddy. Early 20th century origin, fuddy-duddy. We've got some hands. Still working on the end, still working over there. <laughs> they have hands. All right. We look ready, turn them around. Fuddy-duddy is F U. D-D-Y, D-U-D-D-Y, buddy daddy. Kudos to the team that put the hyphen in. Next word is ventriloquy. The art or practice of making one's voice appear to come from somewhere else, typically from a dummy of a person or animal. He played multiple characters using his skills in quick changes and ventriloquy. From Latin, 
ventriloquy. Couple of hands there. Three tables have hands. Three, four, five have hands. Still thinking over here. Ten seconds. Is that everybody? They're still working. Hand? Okay, everybody turn them around. Ventriloquy is V E N T R I L O Q U Y. Ventriloquy. Queen bees sadly are done. You can stay there. Next word torsion. The twisting or wrenching of a body by the exertion of forces tending to turn one end or part about a longitudinal axis while the other is held fast or turned in the opposite direction. In the research paper, the scientists demonstrated the effects of twist, also referred to as torsion, on a very small scale. From Latin, 16th century, torsion. You guys done over here? All right, done, 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 done. All right, turn them around. Torsion is T-O-R-S-I-O-N, torsion. A couple of red flags over here, you get an X. Vermicelli, also vermicelli. Pasta made in long, solid strings, smaller in diameter than spaghetti. The last option is a surprisingly hearty combination of spinach, bok choy, and vermicelli that will satisfy even loyal carnivores. <laughs> Italian from Latin for worm, actually. Vermicelli or vermicelli. Everybody looks ready. Turn them around. V E R M I C E. L L I. Looks all green to me. I would be very concerned if Cornell Dining missed that. <laughs> Next word is rebarbative, repellent, irritating. There are aspects of that writer's personality that any reasonable person would regard as rebarbative, but we're just reading his novels, not marrying him. From Latin, rebarbative. See a hand on rebarbative? Two hands. Three hands. Four. Five. Ten Looks seconds. Like everybody's ready. Yes. Turn them around. Rebarbative is R E B A R B A T I V E. Rebarbative. Right. BTA gets an X. Next word is fixity. The state of being unchanging or permanent. Typographical fixity preserves and gives a certain permanence to written thought. It's from medieval Latin, 17th century. Fixity. One group ready, two groups ready, three, four, five. Everybody's ready. They're taking a freebie over here on Howard Hanna's. Everybody else, turn them around. Fixity is F I X I T Y. Fixity. A strike for O behave. Did we have a strike over here too? We did. For don't stop believing. Uh, judges, let's go to page three, top of page three. Polysemus or polysemus, <laughs> when a word or phrase has several meanings. In one of the more extreme polysemous developments, a word can take on an opposite meaning, as dust can mean to clean up small particles, as in dust the furniture, 
or to apply small particles as in dust the bunt cake with powdered sugar from Latin and Greek, melissimus or polysemus. Two groups ready. Three. Three out of six ready. Ten seconds. Time. Okay, turn them around. Lysimus is P O L Y S E M O U S. We've got a couple of reds here, a couple of strikes going on. There's a third down there. Oh, we've eliminated a group. The Highway to Spell. All right, we've got three, how many teams? One, four remaining. Four teams, okay. Frangipan, or Frangipan. A custard usually flavored with almonds. My favorite iteration of the crostata is smeared with almond frangipan and dotted with quartered apricots. Surprisingly, French, frangipane, or frangipane. One, two, ready. <laughs> frangipane. Also, frangipane. One. Ten seconds. Two, ready. Still thinking. Time. Okay, turn them around. All right. Frangipan is F R A N G I P A N E. Couple of strikes. O oh, behave is out. One, two, still playing. All right, down to the bottom of the page, judges. Dowerloff, a long distance cross country ski race of approximately 35 miles. The losing team in this round must compete in a Dowerloff. It's from German, Dowerloff. Ten seconds. Time. Turn. Dowerloff is D A U E R L A U F. Dowerloff. And we've lost everyone. No. No, we've got strikes for everyone. My bad. My bad. Two groups still playing. All right, next word is literal. Of or relating to or situated or growing on or near a shore, especially of the sea. A literal combat ship is a fast and easily maneuverable combat ship built for use in coastal waters. Latin 17th century, literal. One group ready. Two groups ready, turn them around. Literal, L-I-T-T. -T. O-R-A-L. We have a winner, ladies and gentlemen. I-H-S-B-T-A wins this round. And the winner for best costume, Cornell Dining Superspellers. Well, let's see, we have the Fine Arts Word Boosters, sponsored by Anonymous. Fine Arts Words Boosters, where are you? Raise your hands. They are Martha Frummelt, Alyssa Keeler, no relation, but Keeler, 
and Daphne Shalulu, sponsored by Anonymous, the Fine Arts Words Boosters. We have the Boynton Bobcats. Hello, Bobcats. Cassie D'Amato, uh, Ella Mary Joaquin Santelli, and Jeffrey Tomasic, the Boynton Bobcats. We have the Northeast Orthographic Wolf Pack, sponsored by Anonymous, featuring Ariana Crawford, Liddy Cole, and Andrew McConnell, the Northeast Orthographic Wolf Pack. The South Hill Spellers, sponsored by Wall Educational Consulting Incorporated, Gina Amici, Kelly Kraft, and Perry Gorgon, the South Hill Spellers. We have the Raw Honeys from Fall Creek Elementary, sponsored by Helen Ann Eunice, Caitlin Bram, Diana Lamphier, and Laura Rumschick. The Raw Honeys! <laughs> and I think that's everybody? No, the Caroline Worker Bees. Thank you. I'm walking right in front of you. I almost didn't introduce you. The Caroline Worker Bees are sponsored by the LAP Company Incorporated, Kirsten Herman. Millie Stevenson and Crystal Teesfeld, the Caroline Worker Bees. <laughs> Judges, please remember to note your vote for best costume. Over to you, Mr. Jeff. And judges, we'll start on the third round with the second word, and that is passageway. A way that allows passage. Three 28-foot doors form a triangular silhouette that suggests a passageway to another world. From French, passageway. Raise your hand when you're ready. Everybody ready. Turn them around. Let's see. Passageway is P-A-S-S-A-G-E-W-A-Y. -S -S passageway. Congratulations. Everybody got that. Next word is vertigo. A sensation of motion in which the individual or the individual's surroundings seem to whirl dizzily. The band was traveling the country in 2019 on a 50th anniversary tour, but postponed its fall dates because the lead singer was suffering from cluster migraines and vertigo. From One, Latin, two, three, vertigo. Four, I did not write eight, the sentences, by the way. Five, six, looks like everybody's ready. Turn them around. Vertigo is V-E-R-T-I-G-O, vertigo. Excellent. Okay, so in round one, uh, we had gamification. In round two, we had crunk. And so the round three word of a word that's been added to the dictionary in the last couple of years, dubstep, a type of electronic dance music having prominent bass lines and syncopated uh, drum patterns. In 2018, Shaq traded in basketballs for bass drops and re-emerged as DJ Diesel, a bone-crushing dubstep producer with friends in high places. Hands if you're ready. Dubstep. Is that a hand? Okay, everybody's ready. Turn them around. Dubstep is D-U-B-S-T-E-P, dubstep. All correct. Mausoleum, a large, impressive tomb. The tourists gawked at Lenin's colossal mausoleum, and even hardened Muscovites stopped and stared. From Greek, mausoleum. Let's see your hands if you're ready. One, two, ready. You guys ready? Hands, okay. Keep them up so I can make sure I don't cheat anyone here. Ten seconds. Down to the wall. Time. Okay, turn them around. Mausoleum is M-A-U. 
S-O-L-E-U-M, mausoleum. All right, we've got a couple of strikes. Oye, a phrase used by a court or public crier to gain attention before a proclamation. Oye, 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 cried the sergeant at arms, bringing the courtroom to order. Latin from Old French, oye. Oye. Hands up when you're ready. All right. Ten seconds. The wolf pack is ready. Everybody turn your boards. Oye is O Y E Z. <gasps> We've got a bunch of strikes on this one. And the South Hill Spellers got it right. Congratulations, South Hill Spellers. Next word is Jabberwocky. Oh Invented or meaningless language, nonsense. The translation was slow and full of Jabberwocky. 20th century from English. Z uh, Jabberwocky. And let's see your hands if you're ready. Not quite hand ready yet, huh? That's a hand. 10 seconds. Do we have a hand? We do. Let's turn him around. Jabberwocky, J-A-B-B-E-R-W-O-C-K-Y, Jabberwocky. Many people familiar with Jabberwocky. All right, judges, let's go to page two, top of the page, herbaceous of denoting or relating to herbs in the botanical sense. Herbaceous plants are rare and mostly epiphytic, from Latin, herbaceous. And hands please, hands please, if you're done. They're done, they're done, hands, still waiting on a few. Ten seconds. And we have hands. Turn them around. Herbaceous. H E R B A C E O U S. Herbaceous. Oh, we got a strike down there at the end. Melisma. A group of notes sung to one syllable of text. In her recording, Lulu makes notable use of melisma from Greek, melisma, melisma, melisma. Do we have hand here? We have hand here and there. 10 seconds. Three hands. Time. Let's turn them around. Melisma is M-E-L-I-S-M-A. Melisma. We've got a couple of strikes down here. Oh, we've got a group that's out. Two. Can't quite see their sign. Three. Two groups. Two groups. Three have groups. Been Three groups have been eliminated. Three still playing. Pseudonymous, bearing or using a fictitious name. The money for the purchases flowed within a complex web of shell companies and pseudonymous bank accounts designed to hide the true identities of the end users. Pseudonymous. And let's see hands, hands, hands. Okay, turn them around. Pseudonymous is P-S-E-U-D 
O N Y M O U S. All three right. Robinson, a Belgian breed of draft horses known for their gentle temperament. Luke rode a Robinson across the plain from French Robinson. Another word? Robinson. Ten seconds. Hands. Hands, hands. Okay, turn them around. Robinson is B R A B A N C O N. Oh dear. I think we've got three eliminations. No, we have a winner, right? No, no, you're eliminated. Did you throw your X for this one? Um, so we have a winning group then. I'm gonna consult with the judges on that. Should we do one? Was that pronounced properly? Okay. Let's redo that. So lift up one, one X. <laughs> I, be I believe it's Brabanson, and I, I, mis I mispronounced it, so. Three groups still in the running. So, we'll do that as if it didn't happen. Redo. All right, next page, judges, page three. Let's go with Ballyhoo. Informal verb from North American English, a noisy, attention-getting demonstration or talk. The age saw flagpole sitting, public goldfish swallowing, and other outdoor marathons to generate ballyhoo. Ballyhoo. We have hand. Do we have hand? Still thinking. All right, turn them around. Valley Who is B A L L Y H O O. A strike for the raw honeys. Three groups still in the running. Each has two strikes. A billions. The quality of lively or enthusiastic expression of thoughts or feelings. Now there's another kind of magic and in billions of dance energy and vocal power that looks and sounds as if the band has never aged. From Latin, a billions. One hand, two hand, three hands, turn them around. A billions is E B U L L I E N. C -E. A strike for the Raw Honeys, and they are out. Two teams still in the running. All right, judges, page four, top of the page. Callan Coey, any of a genius of chiefly African tropical succulent herbs or shrubs of the orpine family, often cultivated as ornamentals. Scientifically called Kalankoe tomatosa, the panda plant has also been known as chocolate soldiers and are an extremely popular house plant. From New Latin, Kalankoe. One hand. Two, turn them around. Callan Coey is K-A-L-A-N-C-H-O-E. And I think we have two eliminations there. No, nope. well, yeah, but we can't eliminate two teams. No, another word. Another word. Yep. You take back your strike. Two teams still in the running. Next word is annihilate. Destroy utterly or obliterate. A simple bomb of this type could annihilate them all. Middle English from late Latin, 
annihilate. Okay, I see hands. Turn them around. A-N-N-I-H-I-L-A-T-E, annihilate. Two correct answers. Amissable, capable of being lost, likely to be lost. As parents and teachers know, gloves may be the most admissible items of the winter. 17th century from late Latin, amissable. Amissable. We have a hand. We have a hand. Turn them around. Amissable is A M I S S A B L E. I think we have a winner. Congratulations to the South Hill Spellers. Jeff, we have a judge's question. Judge says that's not how it's spelled in his book. A-M-I-S-S-I-B-L-E. So you were incorrect, says the judge. This one wasn't right. Uh, no, I thought you had it correct. Did they? The first time you said A. A M I S S I B L E. And the first time you said A B L E instead of I B L E, apparently. Shall we just play that again? Sure. <laughs> Two teams coming down to it. All right, judges, let's, let's go to page five, top of the page. Killarney, a moderate yellowish green to green that is stronger than Gretna green. A few days from now, bars and pubs across the country will be decorated in Killarney green. Killarney. Okay, turn them around. Killarney is K-I-L-L-A-R-N-E-Y. Both teams got it wrong, so we're still in the running. Still in the running for both teams. Otat, or Otate. Aegean grass used by Mexicans for making baskets. The men and women demonstrated skill in weaving uh, otate into ornate patterns. Spanish, otate or otat. One more time, Jeff. Otat, otate. Ten seconds. One group ready. Time. Okay, turn them around. O tot, o tate. It's O T A T E. I think we have a winner, ladies and gentlemen. The Carolina Caroline Worker B. Checking on the judges for the costume winner here. 
Yeah. <laughs> At the next round is all teachers, too. Well, that well, makes sense. I mean, the with BJM. It looks like our costume yeah. winner is Fine Arts Word Boosters. <laughs> I did. I saw that. All righty. Let's see. We have the DeWitt Tiger Bees here, Carol Hoffman, Teresa Suchet, and Cynthia Stoye, an anonymous sponsor for the DeWitt Tiger Bees. Here we have Laura Batten, Liza Marin, and Melanie Lefkowitz, sponsored by the Cornell University Office of Community Relations, the Bell Spellers. And here we have Brian Goodman, Susan Phillips, and Adam Piasecki. They're sponsored by the Ithaca Teachers Association. It's the ITA Spellers. <laughs> and let's see, here we have Will Van Dyke, Ben Epker, and Yunus Kinkabwala. They are sponsored by Parkitects Incorporated. The Being Joyful Miss Spellers, pardon me. And here we have Dan Bryman, Mary Grover, and Donna Lucy Lender. Sponsored by Tetra Tech, it's the ICSD B Team. B Team. Enfield Spellers United, sponsored by West Hill Graphics, with Stephanie Colombo, Jill Brown, and Aileen Granger, the Enfield Spellers Untied Oops United. Enfield Spellers United. All right, Jeff, it's all yours. All right, judges, we're up to round four. Top of the page, the word is lucrative. Producing wealth, profitable. The business has proved to be highly lucrative. From Latin, Let's see lucrative. Your hand if you're done, let's see your hand. Got three, four hands, five hands, and six. Okay, turn your boards around. All right, lucrative is L U C R A T I V E. Lucrative. I'm seeing green flags. Next word is identify, to establish the identity of. She identified the dog as her lost pet. From Latin, identify. Let's see your hands when you're done. And everybody's done. Turn them around. Identify is I-D-E-N-T-I-F-Y. Identify. Green flags all around. All right, next page. Your 21st century word is geocaching. A game in which players are given the geographical coordinates of a cache of items which they search for with a GPS device. The geocaching crowd is generally a friendly, active community that enjoys collaborating, mentoring, and meeting up. Geocaching. Still a few working. Oh, there's a hand. Hands, turn your boards around, please. G-E-O-C-A-C-H-I-N-G. Geocaching. One strike over here. Ferocious, savagely fierce, violently cruel. The wolverine is nature's most ferocious and violent animal, from Latin. Ferocious. Hands if you're done. And we're all done. Turn your boards around. Ferocious. F E R O C I O U S. Ferocious. Green flags for everyone. Enfranchise or enfranchise. Give the right to vote. A proposal that foreigners should be enfranchised for local elections from late Middle English. Enfranchise or enfranchise. Enfranchise.
Hands if you're done. Everybody done? Okay, turn your boards around. Min franchise is E N F R A N C H I S E. Green flags. Green flags for everyone. Boku. Many or much. Boku profits are at stake. From French. Boku. Let's see your hand if your team is ready. Okay, turn your boards around. Boku is B E A U C O U P. Boku. One strike down at the end there. Oh, we have one here too? Do we have a strike? Just one X, I guess. No, two X's. Okay. One X for you, one X for you. Next word is macrocosm. The whole of a complex structure, especially the world or the universe, contrasted with a small or representative part of it. Our study of the local environment is a microcosm of the larger world macrocosm. Macrocosm. Seven, from 17th century French. Fooled you, didn't I? Jeff, another time? Macrocosm. Hands for those who are done, please. 10 seconds. Everybody's done, turn your board around. Macrocosm is M-A-C-R-O-C-O-S-M. -O -O Macrocosm. One strike. Next word is labyrinthine of a system intricate and confusing. I had a hard time keeping, uh, following the film's labyrinthine plots and counterplots. 14th century Greek and Latin, labyrinthine. There's one hand. Two groups are done. Do we have a hand down there yet? They're thinking about it. 10 seconds. Time. Okay, that's it. Labyrinthine is L-A-B-Y-R-I-N-T-H-I-N-E. Labyrinthine. One strike down here. Two strikes over here are one and two. All right. Three groups have two strikes, two group, three groups, none at all. Analepsis, a description of an event or scene from an earlier time that interrupts a chronological narrative. Through Analepsis, Paul recounts the story of his uncle's mysterious disappearance and death during the violent days of October 1961 in Paris. Analepsis. Analepsis. Origin? I don't have an origin. Analepsis. Ten seconds. Time. Pens down, turn your boards. Analepsis is A N A L E P S I S. Analepsis. We got a strike here and a strike over there. If you got it wrong, give yourself an X, please. Crepuscular. Excuse me, crepuscular of relating to or resembling twilight, or occurring or active during twilight. The rabbits are crepuscular, most active in early morning and at dusk. New Latin, crepuscular. (laughs) 
Okay. Crepuscular. Turn your boards. Crepuscular is C R E P U S C U L A R. Crepuscular. We've got a strike here and a strike there. One group is out. Five groups in play. Clowder, a group of cats. After seeing the movie, I was on the lookout for any sign of a clowder of calico cats. Origin unknown, clowder. Hands Clouder. Up. Hands if you're done. Ten seconds. I think they're all done. Okay, turn your boards. Clouder is C L O W D E R. Clouder. Strike here, strike here, strike here. Everybody. We've got Thank you, everybody. A couple of groups eliminated. Two still in play. Odontitis, the cutting of teeth or teething. Odontitis is, is not fun for the child or for the parent. From Greek, odontiasis. Ten seconds. Ready? Okay, turn to Odontiasis the board. is O D O N T I A S I S. Odontiasis. So we have an elimination. And congratulations to ITA Speller. All right, we're going to take a pause between this round and the next to do our 50-50 raffle. Steve. All right, in just a moment, we'll be inviting the champions from all four rounds. So ITA, don't go anywhere. Uh, we'll be inviting our champions back up. And we have costume. Costumes are being checked now. Uh, we do have a winner of our 50-50 raffle. If you're still in the building and your ticket reads... 703-5846, that's 703-5846. You wanna see Mary over there waving at us? And she has your 50-50 raffle, thank you. We raised $142, so the winner of the 50-50 gets to take home $71 today. Thank you so much, um, and our costumes. Our best costume goes to the Bell Spellers. The proposal is economic hoodoo that should be hooted down. American English, 19th century origin, hoodoo. Hands if you're ready. Everybody's ready. Turn your boards, please. Hoodoo is H-O-O-D-O-O. -O -O. Four hoodoo. correct answers. Four correct answers. Now that you're comfortable. Cephalochordate, or cephalochordate. An animal of the subphylum cephalochordata, such as the lancelet. Although cephalochordates had achieved the primary characters of chordates, they, la they lack many other features that characterize vertebrae. From English and Latin, cephalochordate or cephalochordate. They are all ready, turn your boards. C-E-P-H-A-L-O-C-H-O-R-D-A-T-E. Cephalochordate. Four green flags. Injura. 
a flat spongy bread made of fermented teff flour. I usually end up having to take a taxi home because I've overdone it on the injera from Amaric injera. Injera. Okay, everybody turn your boards. Injera is I N J E R A. Two strikes over here. Liechtenstein, or Liechtenstein, a landlocked country in Western Europe between Switzerland and Austria, bordering on the Rhine River. Liechtenstein is the sixth smallest independent nation in the world by land area. German origin, Liechtenstein, or Liechtenstein. Everybody's ready, turn your boards. L I E. C H T E N S T E I N Liechtenstein. I think we might have someone who got it right. We have a green flag. We have a red flag over there. We have one group with two X's. First Congo Bees. Great job. Three groups with one X. So that group is eliminated. Is that correct, Jeff? Two X's? The two X's are out, correct. The worker, the worker bees. Next word is gemery, the science of gems. After high school, she knew she wanted to continue her learning in gemery, from Middle English, gemery. Hands up when you're done. Ten seconds. Ten seconds. Time. Turn your boards. Gemery is G E M M A R Y. I think we have someone who won over here. First, First Congo Bees. Congo Bees. <laughs> Champions 2020. First Congo Bees. Wow. <laughs> Winner and runners up don't go too far. We need pictures and we have gifts for you. Steve Manley and Monica Tuzard will present the gifts to the champions and gifts to the runners up. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you so much for staying to the bitter end and for being part of the buzz. Thanks for coming. <laughs>